blasphemers, idolaters. For this you shall drink bitter waters. God has set before you this day his laws of life and good and death and evil. Those who will not live by the law shall die by the law. The title of this message is Saint Nicholas and Santa Claus Come Out of Evil. Hello, welcome to Evangelical and Time Machine. My name is Josie. I'm one of the warriors of the last days. On October 18, 2013, an angel of the Almighty God brought on this message to Benjamin Cosainson. God's true end time prophet. Shalom. I greet you in the wonderful name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ. Verily, verily, I tell you, my name is Raphael, and I am a messenger angel of God. Hear attentively. Exodus 20, verse 3. You shall have no other gods before me. Exodus 20, verse 5. You shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them. Verily, during the times of the Germanic people, there was in winter a winter festival in honor of the idol Woden. Verily, for hundreds of years, one had been celebrating this. Satan had a great plan in order to persuade both small and great. Satan made sure to Christianize the Germanic pagan idolatry and to have himself declared a saint in that way. Roman Catholicism is a mixture of worship of idols and canonizations and brought it to the front and the church allowed itself to be used for satan's plan the germanic people believed in the forces of nature leviticus 19 verse 4 don't turn to idols nor make molten gods for yourselves i am the lord your god Verily, even the wind they saw as a divine being, which they called Woden. One symbolized Woden as a saint with a long beard and a long cloak, and in his hand he held a spear with a snake head, which was also seen as a magic lance. Along with his eight-legged horse, Slipnir, the Woden was assisted by two demons called Hugin, the thought, and Munin, the memory. And furthermore, Woden had an accompanying person with him, a messenger, and many other devilish helpers. Woden was the main Germanic god, known as the god of war and death. He also brought the souls of the dead to the underworld with his horse. Verily, if you put this background next to St. Nicholas and Santa Claus, then you will see that there are great similarities, and this is because one must also see them like that. This also is the work of Satan, the Woden spirit on earth. Leviticus 19, verse 31. Don't turn to those who are mediums, nor to the wizards. Don't seek them out to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. 
Revelation 19, verses 11 to 15. I saw the heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he who sat on it is called Faithful and True. In righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are a flame of fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has names written, and a name written, which no one knows but he himself. He is clothed in a garment, sprinkled with blood. His name is called the Word of God. The armies which are in heaven followed him on white horses, clothed in white, pure, fine linen. Out of his mouth proceeds a sharp, double-edged sword, that with it he should strike the nations. He will rule them with a rod of iron. He treads the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of God, the Almighty. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 8, verses 31 to 32. Jesus therefore said to those Jews who had believed him, If you remain in my word, then you are truly my disciples. You will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Verily, this St. Nicholas and Santa Claus ritual, in which they both are being exalted and worshipped, comes out of evil. Many children worship St. Nicholas, the Woden. The mitre of the Roman Catholics is also called Dagon Hat, a fish's mouth, which represents worship of Dagon, also known as Baal, Moloch, Devil. I'm going now. Ruaha, Yeshu, Shalom, spoke the messenger angel of God and disappeared. And also I say to you, Ruaha, Yeshu, Shalom. God bless you.